think watching the senior speeches each year, I always expected that I'd know by now what I wanted to say. It's funny how life doesn't always give you what you expect. Hmm. I never expected to be here at the O of R. It wasn't even on my radar until I made a last minute decision to add a seventh school to the list of applications. And even then I thought little of it. But then when I was invited to interview on campus, I went. And I was here maybe 10 minutes before I knew this was the place. God moments. I always intended to be part of a campus church group, but I never really expected to do more than go to a service every week. I certainly didn't expect my entire college life to revolve around my church group. Little did I know, when I scanned the PCC pamphlet I got from the mail that summer, that I'd be itching to be on steering committee by the time I learned that steering committee existed. <laughs> Little did I know that I'd be going to every extra event PCC had that I could go to. Little did I know that I'd be spending the next four years making bulletins, helping serve communion, reading scripture and worship, playing sardines and bananagrams, philosophizing. <laughs> Little did I know that I'd meet some of my best friends here some of whom I've known since we came to service the very first time, and some of whom I've only met this year. Little did I know that the very best of my friends would come from PCC, that it would be these amazing people who would see me at my very best and at my very worst and love me in spite of both. I never expected to be a religion maker. I went in needing to do physics, math, and music. It was PCC where I first learned about the religion department, where I first heard that all the professors were amazing. So, when I got tired of proofs in math, on something of a whim, I decided to be a religion major. God moments. <laughs> I certainly never expected it would have such an effect on me. Religion was my extra major, just for fun. I never expected that learning about the Bhagavad Gita, Islamic mysticism, biblical scholarship, history of Christianity, and going to DD and talking about every little theological debate we could come up with to discuss would mean so much to me. I never expected all of that would be my favorite parts of college. I never expected to be anything but a physicist. Look at me now, going into a field that most people see as worlds away from physics. It's weird, standing in a pulpit, knowing that three years from now, I'll be standing in a pulpit again, giving a sermon rather than a speech to celebrate the end of my year as a school. It's weird, knowing that I'll probably be standing in pulpits my entire life. It's weird, knowing that it probably never would have happened without PCC. PCC, who inspired everything that led me to my decision to go to seminary. PCC, who have been unceasingly supportive of the decision since I first thought of the possibility. I think watching the senior speeches, I always expected that I'd know what to say by now, but it took me until last week to even know how to begin. How do you find the words to thank people that are family to you? How do you thank them for being exactly who you needed by being exactly who they are? How do you thank them for being the most amazing kaleidoscope of wonderful people? I love you guys. I'm going to miss you so much next year. Underclassmen, I wish you the very best of times for the rest of your years here. Make the most of it, and good luck with everything that you do. Seniors, and take fives to be. It's surreal to think that four or five years have passed already and that it's time to depart for new adventures. You have all meant so much to me these past few years, and as we go our separate ways, I will always remember that huge class of freshmen that infiltrated PCC four years ago <laughs> and only grew with time. Good luck and stay in touch. Mr. Schmidt, goodbye. <laughs>